Hello, Mioni here, and this is a short news video. This is in regards to some drama, let's say, that's been hitting the Final Fantasy XIV subreddit, which ultimately overflowed onto the official forums, and then the Japanese forums, and then all of the fan forums. It's basically exploded out of nowhere, so we have to kind of look at this. Ordinarily, I wouldn't probably touch this with a 10-foot barge pole. However, there was an official response from Square Enix to Today that doesn't seem like a coincidence. Essentially, Square Enix want to remind people about the prohibition of real money trading, or RMT. We would like to remind our players that any actions relating to the trading of real money for in-game benefits or services, commonly referred to as RMT, are prohibited under the terms of service. We'll take disciplinary action against any accounts we confirm are involved in RMT, up to and including a permanent ban for infringing accounts. Players should take care to steer clear of any activity that violates the terms of service. Should you witness actions related to RMT, such as advertisements within the game, leading to external services via say, shout, tell and yell, you can report them by right-clicking the character name in the chat log and selecting the menu Report and then Report RMT Activity. To report RMT-related actions outside of chat, you can visit the Support Desk menu, select Contact Us and Report Cheating for the Special Task Force team to investigate. We appreciate the continued effort of our community to help us make Final Fantasy XIV a better place for everyone to enjoy. So you might wonder why are they posting this now if you're basically in the dark. Essentially the drama is that there are some alleged concerns with the free company and guilds associated, we should call them, with the name Elysium on the North American data centers, allegedly been offering services such as paid boosts, the purchase and sale of characters and accounts, the purchase and sale of gil, you name it, it's essentially a very lengthy post. I will link both that and of course this lodestone page today. I don't really want to go into it too much detail whether it's right or wrong, but the terms of service are there for a very specific reason, and obviously people have very different opinions on them. Some people are defending the actions of individuals by stating that even though it's against the terms of service, this does not necessarily mean that Square Enix should do anything about them, considering they are bringing a lot of players to the game. My answer to that is that we shouldn't have special allowances for certain people, and if people are caught outright, then those individuals should be put to blame. Not necessarily the free companies, unless they are collectively making an effort to basically involve themselves in RMT. If it is individual people, then those people should be taken account by account, rather than blanketing an entire name of a free company and indeed any statics associated with it that may or may not be involved with RMT. Obviously it's bad press, but then again this has always been the case. If you're new to MMOs, this has happened for many years in other games, including World of Warcraft. That's not to say that this is a defensible action, but there is obviously going to be some people in large communities like this that are going to have a certain degree of corruption. Past that point, we can't really say anything else because, again, these are alleged concerns. It has not really been addressed properly, and I doubt Square Enix will. I would imagine that the individuals in question will probably be under the scrutiny of these enforceable rules. So this Lodestone page in many ways serves as a reminder and a warning, I would guess, that this is not going to go how people think it is, but no one is really safe from these rules. So I doubt anything will be done on the particular topic that was posted on Reddit that caused this quote-unquote drama, but this is an interesting point to bring up that the terms of service is very loose in regards to what you can and cannot do. Terms of service violations such as passing are overlooked by many and third-party modifications, but where do we draw the line? What even is the line to be drawn? How do we define the line that's crossed between a moral decision on Square Enix's part and one that's based on rules that they presumably decide when or when not to actually enact. I'm afraid you can't have it both ways, so it'll be interesting to see what develops from this, if anything. But when Square Enix responds, then it's officially news. Either way, let me know what you think about the whole debacle. But remember, at the end of the day, the terms of service is there for a reason. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.